Hello everyone, welcome to another vlog this week. Um, this week I'm taking Ember show jumping down the road, it's evening show jumping, so my class is quite soon actually. Taking him in the 70 centimetres and the 80 centimetres. And yeah, he jumped well. Took him to Justine's yesterday for a little tune up and he jumped quite well. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Anyway, I've just arrived and my boots are filthy. Also, don't actually look at them because <laughs> one would not normally compete in boots with holes in. And look, also fun fact, they're odd. Can you see that? Just quickly, these are the Cardo Martin tack cleaner mitts and they have saved me on uh, multiple occasions. You literally pop it on like a glove, just give it a wipe. And uh, sadly, they don't repair the holes. But, um, yeah, I think, look at that. No one's going to see the holes anyway. No one, no one will ever know. Right, so I've walked the course. And, um, and now I'm going to go get on my pony, who is down there with B. He's walking him very nicely. Um, and look, Forest Edge have put up this new outdoor, indoor thing. And they've got lights in it now. So we're not going to be jumping in the dark, which is great. So I'm ready, B. Is he ready? Yeah. Right, so this is the warm-up to the 70 centimetres and there are lots of ponies flying around. It's very busy. Ember is a little bit tense and a little bit stressed. So at this stage, I just wanted to get him trotting round and to relax. You can see his ears are pricked, <laughs> but he's a bit worried about the other horses kind of coming in his direction at any sort of speed, which is kind of understandable because as an ex racehorse, normally, you know, all well, the horses will be coming the same way as him if he was on the track. Um, but you can already see here, his little ears are pricked and he's listening to me. They're going back and forth and he's actually starting to settle down really quite well. Uh, given the circumstances. As I've said before, he hasn't been in this environment with its new roof on. Uh, so to him, it looks like a completely different place. We've done dressage, a dressage warm up in him here before, which obviously also was very different because I was doing a walk trot test and no one was cantering towards me. Um, so still a little bit of tension there, but you can see I'm just remaining nice and calm and relaxed. I'm not really asking too much in terms of the contact, but I just want him to encourage him to stretch down if possible and just get him to relax. Now, this is where I start. I've actually made a mistake here. I was going to ask for a canter on the left rein, um, but he just kind of blew his brain a little bit because the left rein actually is our worst rein in canter. So I thought, no, what? I'm not going to start a battle. I'm just going to do a little circle, change onto the right rein. Um, keep circling here, it was a bit manic actually because there were horses everywhere and I couldn't quite get a spot. And I just wanted him to circle and relax. You can see he's a little bit swishy. He gets quite impatient with things. He knows now that I want him to canter. So now it's just him kind of anticipating. But I just wait until he's listening to me and he pops into canter really nicely on the right leg, which was good. So I just quietly ride him away, just keep him there, round my leg. And I think this looks quite nice. Now, as we're show jumping and I want Ember to kind of move away underneath me, here I just get up off his back and let him travel more. But look at his little happy face, he's loving life. Um, and I think I have a canter on the other rein in a minute. Yeah, so this is our worst rein, so Obviously, I have to have a counter on both reins, and he has a tendency, just because he's a bit weaker on this rein, to strike off with the wrong leg. So it's, I just have to not get in a faff and just bring him back to trot nice and gently, and he actually corrects himself quite well there. Um, <laughs> he just makes me laugh so much. He's got the most amazing canter, everyone. It literally feels like a rocking horse. And now we've cantered on both reins. It's time for me to have a little pop. So I start with a little cross pole. And I just really quietly canter him in and look how sweetly he jumps that. I'm so happy. Uh, so we come again. He knows what he's doing now. You can see him getting really excited. 
This horse absolutely loves jumping. For a flat horse, I think that's absolutely amazing. A little bit close into that one, but he's very clever with his feet. And I just don't let it phase me. We just carry on. And uh, I think I did jump it again, but I'm not sure if we got it on film. Um, but then I'm taking him round to the oxer because I actually don't have very long left. And again, he chips in a little one there. But he's it's all learning. And we go again and he, he absolutely flies that one. So I think I think we're ready. Good, thank you. Okay, it's jumping. <laughs> it's going. It's going. <laughs> so this class is 70 centimetres and I'm doing two classes this day. The 70 and the 80. So I was going to use this one as kind of like my warm-up round, essentially, just to get him used to jumping in here because he hasn't actually jumped competitively in this arena yet. So the first fence, this nice little upright and just... Now this is where I start kind of making mistakes because instead of getting into a rhythm, I'm faffing around with bringing him back to trot uh, to change his leg when really I should have just let him keep rolling on because I know that Ember likes to sort his legs out himself. He's very good at that. Um, and I know, obviously, I've, I was just trying to help, but I think in doing that, I'm interfering with the canter and it's not travelling as well as I want to. It just So, I mean, here, I don't, I just letting him canter on, on technically the wrong leg, but I know that we're going across the diagonal. And look, he sorts himself out there. I didn't actually ask for that. Um, but we get close into that and he has it down and he's actually pretty good over that one um, but instead of learning from my I actually he was on the right leg and I brought him back to trot which was really silly so I I mean I'm kicking myself here a little bit but I think it's here I actually think right we need to go forward and I need to stop being such an interfering Ian if that's a thing <laughs> and he actually starts to jump really nicely um, so it takes me a whole half of the course to actually screw my brain into gear and stop just fiddling around too much. So this was actually coming round to the last fence now and he's on a nice forward stride. I'm just letting it roll on, letting the fence come to me and we get it bang on. And oh, I'm so happy. We did have two poles down, but they were very much, I've learnt from that round which is good for the second round because I know exactly what I have to do. I just have to ride exactly how I did in the second half of the course. Right. So in between classes, I didn't actually get off him. I thought it would be better for his brain because he gets quite bored and hot standing around just to kind of walk him off. And then when it was time to start warming up for my next class, I just gave him a little trot round and this is when I first picked him up and he was like, oh, I'm a bit keen to get going. But look here, he's very relaxed now. He knows what's happening. And yeah, he's a totally cool cucumber. So ready to go in. So now it's time for the 80 centimeters and I'm taking what I learned from my first round and I'm putting it into practice. So I'm establishing my canter well before I get to the fence and it's more forward and it's rhythmical and I have to think, I have to remember what Justine, my trainer's told me, keep a rhythm, let the fence come to you and I'm actually using another trick that I learned from Cameron Beer at the Swipe Up Kick On second series on HNC Plus which is to count. So I'm going round and I'm landing, I'm going one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And I'm literally counting. And I've heard also that is a trick from Lucinda Frederick. So it is a very, very common method. Um, and it does work most of the time. I mean, I did get a little bit deep into there, but I'm not counting my strides into the fence. The counting is that so I maintain a rhythm. And look how much more forward and flowing and just, I mean, he's so cute, look at him. He knows his job now and he's sorting out his legs. I don't want to be bringing him back to trot because that's going to interfere with our rhythm. Um, and he's giving them some room, guys. He's, he's actually clearing them. And I'm thinking, 
I'm just going to keep the turns nice and big and wide and give myself plenty of time to set myself up the best I can for the fences without overthinking it, which is probably what I did a little bit here. Got a little bit deep, but he was great and he, he got to go around. And it is the next day and Ember has had a lovely, well-deserved day off and he's just sniffing something that is in my hand, which is his rosette. He came fifth. I'm not entirely sure how, um, what time we did our round in, but I was very much focusing on not doing the tight turns and winning because it's all obviously very new for him and um, yeah I just wanted a nice round and a clear round if possible and that's exactly what we did in the 80 how funny isn't it the 70 was definitely our warm-up um, but I feel like he just felt like he maybe had to jump the fence a little bit more in the 80 didn't you hey I'm super super chuffed and um, it's just like another tick box the next milestone for us um, you know first clear round I think that's a really big thing from a horse that could barely jump a cross pole to one that's popping round 80 who knows what will be next I know what will be next guys you can probably have a guess at what will be next what I've got up my sleeve for the rest of the season comment below any guesses what do you think it's probably quite obvious um anyway uh i really hope you enjoyed that vlog i am now jetting off to protoni for the eventing world championships but by the time you watch this vlog i will be returning from the eventing world championships guys i'm gonna love you and leave you gotta go meet meg so if you enjoyed this vlog make sure you give it a like leave a comment say well done to ember wherever you are there you are yeah well done <laughs> He says, I want more praise, please. And um, yeah, see you. See you soon. Ciao. Bye. <laughs>